let's go ahead and get started. Here's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to inter introduce myself to you, and I have kind of PowerPoints to do that. And, um, and then you're going to introduce yourself to me, and that'll take about an hour. I mean, it's going to take some time to do that. And um, because by the time you go through this group and you add things and laugh a little bit and everything else, it usually takes. Right, but now let me go ahead and introduce time. myself. This is, this is an old slide. You can see the date. I've been doing this for a while. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through an overview, just kind of introductions. First, who am I? Then who are you? Then we're going to make up a bunch of rules we want to live by and you want me to live by. And then we're going to uh, look at what this class is all about and then talk about materials, make sure we all have the same stuff. All right. In the South, it's customary to introduce your parents before you introduce yourself. So there's my mom and dad. <laughs> I was born in Key West, Florida. This was taken probably 58. I was born in 59. And um, my dad had uh, started a company in, in Detroit, and then he moved to uh, Marathon Key and started, fishing boat, started uh, uh, a little company with fishing boats. And then the missile crisis happened, so I had to sell all the fishing boats. Moved to Murfreesboro. That's, I was three years old in Murfreesboro. Started a, a little restaurant and then became a Holiday Inn innkeeper. And then, so my whole life was living in Holiday Inns across the South. So from age six, six to after I graduated with my master's, that was my home base, Holiday Inns in different places. And it was, it was, it was kind of fun. But there's my parents. This was the company. I was telling my dad started a company. You see this? Uh, this is a full-scale wooden model of a, about a 1950 GMC truck. And if you look at that, that's made out of wood. Because this was a pattern to a mold. And the way they did it back then is they carved it out of wood, right? And then they used that to make the molds. And I'm kinda, I kind of like that picture. That's one of my favorite pictures. It, can you imagine a full-size vehicle just made out of wood? I mean, and it looked good because it had to be more perfect than the actual because they were making all the molds from it. There's my wife. She's a music attorney. <laughs> I tell everybody we've been married, or, or I've been married for 25 years. Uh, two different women, but 25 years. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so the first time I met the dreams in, in college, right? And then 10 years later, she met the man of hers. So I got, re <laughs> so I got remarried. And uh, so this is the best thing ever happened to me. Um, so this is Denise. This is my wife. And she's a music attorney. And there's our wedding cake. All right. I, actually, that's the groom's cake, I think. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of these uh, people send me some neat stuff. Now, I got five kids. Here's Four of them, and this was uh, when she, this little girl here is now six, so that was a long time ago, right? So he's now 18, and she's now 16, and he's now eight. And there she is at two. She's grown up, see? And there she is at four or so, and she's the little tough girl. Here's my son. He's, a, he's about six or so in that picture. And here's a picture where I see him most. Now, you see this picture? I don't know if you can see that, but can you see that? Is this even in, in a... I'm going to turn the light off just for a second. You got to see this picture. Now, I told her to give me a tough look. <laughs> Does she look like she's giving me a tough look? That's, that's, they all have... Leave it off just for the pictures? Okay. Now, that's why I see my sons most. They're in a messy room playing games, you know, <laughs> together. They love each other. Now, here, here they are uh, probably before they started kindergarten. And then here's another later picture. And so that's my son's, that's probably a couple years old still. And then I have a brand new guy who's, the new guy in town is, is uh, only eight weeks old. Yeah, that's what I all say. <laughs> now, people have sent me this. They, they want it, the people have sent me these, so these are all simulations. I asked for, I asked for advice, you know, from the students. I said, I'm going to need all kinds of advice to get through this. <laughs> so uh, they, they told me to, to um, take things and, and look at the humor of things. And, of, and so I can relate to these. These aren't my kids, but I've seen all this. And then they said, well, you've got to teach the kids how to take care of themselves a little bit. So they sent me this picture. As, as an example of what I should do, just let, let the little one learn how to fend for himself a little bit and get things. And, and then uh, 
and then they said that, well, you know, you got to learn how to fix food that everybody likes. And have you, how many people have kids in here? See, now I got all kinds of information that you'll. <laughs> so, how many people got kids? And and do you have a um, do you have a problem getting food that they like when they're younger? Anybody have that problem? I mean, I eat anything. And Sarah will, will eat most things, but I had to find food that they like. And I really like Japanese food, and they like Nemo, so I just did combine them too. <laughs> I figured they'd like this, right? Um, it works sometimes. They like they like Japanese food, uh, and then you got to learn other things. You got my my daughter didn't react very well to this one though, so I got a picture of that. <laughs> That's getting rid of me, Nemo. <laughs> but anyway, after you you know when you have so many kids and you and you take classes and you do things like that and you work full time and all the other stuff you guys do well I, I do kind of the same thing I'm, I'm trying to finish my PhD and I'm working full time and I'm teaching at night sometimes so I gotta learn how to put these things together and save time so someone sent me this suggestion it was you can wash dishes and the baby at the same time if, you're, if you really try hard and you can, you can cut corners and do things but I think the best suggestion I got so far was, how do you get your kids sleep at night? I mean, I got eight-year-old and six-year-old, and I can't get them sleep. And, and forget about that eight-week-old, because that, that guy just doesn't sleep, you know, at the right times. So how do you guys get them to sleep? And just a routine. That's a good idea. Someone else gave me this suggestion. I don't know if this is good, but it made sense. <laughs> I thought, well, that's probably not what I'll try, but it worked for this guy. <laughs> that's, that's bad. <laughs> so anyway, people, <laughs> people usually ask me um, um, just the companies I work for, and so here's, here's some of the companies, and I work for a bunch of different companies, about 100 different companies, and so there's, there's mo about half, about 50% of the projects I worked on was government, and about 50% was commercial, and about half of that was manufacturing, and the other half was some kind of service, um, like maybe hospitals or, you know, some kind of service. And so those are some of the companies. And I'm going to try to relate to everybody in this class. I'm going to see if i got some kind of experience that we can relate to. And there's, I'm an artist, there's one of my paintings. I don't know if you can see that. It looks real good here. <laughs> Everybody come up here. <laughs> and so there's one of the paintings. This is a Legends Golf Course. And here's another painting. This one is, was actually hanging in the uh, Metro Police Department Domestic Violence, domestic violence um, Department. And this one I call... Uh, exploring, I can imagine some little kid sitting in the office and and having to think. And I just wanted some place to go in his mind, and and so I was thinking that maybe um, where I was, where I grew up, I grew up in the in the woods, and I grew up in the lakes, you know, and and kind of with little rowboats and things like that. So I thought that would be a good memory for me, and I put little two little fishing bobbers in the water just so that. That would be that would be ideal for me. Some place, kind of with a good friend, just peaceful, quiet, out in the woods somewhere. This one used to hang at at um, Treveca, and let's see. So that's about all I have on me right now. But but did you get a good feel? Kind of got a whole bunch of different things. So now what we'll do is I'm gonna turn on.